Hello, this is John with Bull Ridge Plumbing. We're here at 1008 Adams doing a sewer inspection here from the rooftop. I am here at 95 feet 6 inches. I'm here at the city tap. Gonna kind of pull back, kind of show you guys what I got going on. Until here I am in clay pipe. Say I got a, just a slight separation on my fitting here, right where it taps in. It's not impeding flow or anything, and there's no roots growing in, so should be all right there. See there, I have kind of a separation as well. That's pretty standard with old clay lines, just because back in the day they didn't support them very well. And as that ground's starting to shift and kind of settle, they do kind of slip. But as long as we're maintaining fall, it's not causing backup or roots and stuff isn't intruding in, we don't really call it out and be replaced. See here, about 85 feet, 9 inches, small root intrusions on the fitting. We'll definitely recommend doing a root X treatment on this. What that is, it's foaming root killer that we do put in the line. It has to sit six to eight hours. And it'll help kind of kill and deteriorate any excess roots. See here about 78 feet. I do have a little bit of a belly in the pipe, causing a low spot. See some standing water there. So we'll recommend doing some Bio 1 on this as well. And what that is, it's a live enzyme that we put into the sewer line to help eat away any sludge buildup or anything see here there is quite a bit of black water underneath just because I did run a bunch of water so that a lot of that's the sludge buildup and whatnot there another fitting there but we have another belly there not too bad though same here got a little bit of standing water a lot of these older lines like this do recommend annual maintenance on them. Whether that be coming in, recamering the line, seeing how it looks, and deciding whether or not it needs a root X treatment or a sewer clean. Definitely recommend it on these older lines. Got a little bit of a low spot there. Take a turn here. See, there's my transition point. I have a little bit of root, so that root X should kind of get rid of that stuff. Goes to cast iron. So we are going to get a touch bumpy here. There, turn up here. And there is a transition. Unfortunately, I can't see because I'm on the way up. There's a transition here from clay to or from cast iron to copper. So we're on a copper line here. Pull pretty quickly here. Here's the line I went through. There's the backyard. This has been a Bull Ridge production. Have a very good rest of your day.